Ever, like you're eating unblockables or you hard tag into the round harvest. All right, so the time is now Angel Bags versus. All right, dashes up, setting up his traps. He's got low voltage. There we go. Able to take it to the corner, secure his hit. Still had an assist to build a little bit of extra meter, and he's going to snap. All right. He's recognized that the composition is the scariest thing, so he's going to go for Wesker, and that is really the, the linchpin of everything. Right? I mean, you're taking away the unblockables. That's the biggest deal. Obviously, he really yes. does his homework. He's been watching the matches. He knows. See these loops. Getting him on the right side. Looking good. And that should be the finish. Oof. So he's able to get first blood. That's his side. Pressure with the stand medium. I like... Angel Bags was trying to steal enough space to get out of the jam session threat territory, which is really, really smart. The dash down was very good. Everything about that play was really nice, except Yule was just a split second ahead and was right there waiting for him. It Knew was, it was the optimal play. It's kind of funny because that, that tail end of the last hit of the jam session clipped him and was able to confirm the hit off of that. So Trish solo, it's definitely going to be a struggle, but more than capable, the zoning game. How do we get started here? We've got to secure some kind of hit, some kind of pressure. That was it right there for sure. Um, it's really hard because, you know, most of the time Trish wants to lay traps and play lane neutral and run away. Yeah, being behind, certainly not her strong point. You have to play really aggressive. He's laying down a good amount of chip, but investing this much meter into chip before you've used X Factor? We'll see how it works out. He's going to go into Sogenmu. Still able to block one meter left for Angel Bags. Yeah, Angel Bags is definitely looking for Yuli to make a mistake here, but Yuli's not making any, able to close out the game. And just not having it. So game one goes to Yuli. He's messing around on the character select, trying to see what he wants to do. Take a, take a second, you know. Yeah, that was a good thing. Yeah, just keep yourself, keep yourself centered. It's a long bracket. Setting up his traps. Angel Bags has to secure this hit to get the game plan rolling. It's just how do you do it against Zero with Yuli's playing so safe? He's trying to, you, he's actively trying to bait out Jam Session, which is a great start. Full dash forward, dash back. Jam Session hits both. Zero unable to confirm it. I think you're definitely on to something right there. You play a low trap right there. Oh, good confirm off of it as well, too. Not able to finish it, though. Looking okay. The trap set up. I like that Yuli is, Yuli is comfortable just sitting on, just down backing. He's not calling assists, not forcing anything. If Angel Bags is in the air and has two traps laid up, Zero's not going to get anything done unless he's able to get horizontal with him. No reason to overextend. Oh, and it was able to snipe, too. That time it hurts, though. Oh, and the conversion off of that with the standing jab? This is going to be a problem. Here comes the unblockable. What do you do here? I don't think you tag. I think you just have to take it. He's going to give away Virgil. I think That's you just have to take your unblockable. You got to take it on the chin. That's rough. Oh, dropped and was able to recover, too, and then dropped it again. Twice in a row. Okay, so he's going to get his super off. The DT? No, he doesn't DHC either. I guess Dante's the man, then. Yeah, I respect that. If that's what you're more comfortable with, then definitely go for it. Jackpot. Yeah. Oh. Looks for the, looks for the foot type does not happen. Eminent to the family. Stan. So Alex cut your hair and Brandon is one stop lifting. We get it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shout out to the homie Eminent, aka Stan. Yeah. Bruh. Stan, goddamn. Yeah, bruh. The, Stan the man right now with a $50 donation. Thank you so much, Stan. Appreciate you, brother. Stan, I wish I could cut my fucking hair, <laughs> bro. I complain about it more than anyone. I think Stan's like the last person I went to a bar with, so. Damn. <laughs> history. <laughs> I think it was when Papella was in town. Oh, man. Ancient history. Shouts to Eminent, though, man. The homie Stan. Yeah, one of the OGs of the Tampa Bay FGC. One of the reasons TNS definitely got started there. Still playing on that same Street Fighter 4 stick, too, with the Brooks. That same <laughs> damn stick. Oh, that's playing forever. forever. That's <laughs> He's forever. never getting a new one. <laughs> Appreciate you a lot, though, man. It's good to see you <laughs> chat. <It's a laughs> he knows exactly what we're talking about. Did we get disconnected? Yep. 
All right, we, looks like we lost one of the players there. I think he just wanted to reset his parsec. Maybe That's so. what it looked like. Are we shall see, though. He's just moving around, making sure everything is good, which is good. I would much rather you do this than have something happen in the game. This is, this is much better. Looking consistent, though. Art. He's going to pick his team, and we are back into it. One to one. Right back in, just getting hit right there with an early lightning. Yep, setting himself up for success with the spacing on the dive kicks, though. Definitely sparing on the dive kicks, which I respect a lot. It's more waiting for opportunity, waiting for seeing opportunities instead of throwing it out. It's so easy to spam them. Like, yeah, it's easy to get into a habit of like getting predictable with them for sure. Because they're really good, but Angel Bags, like you said, is doing a fantastic job of just throwing them out. Here and there. Dooley still able to confirm the hit though. Punishing with the rapid slash. Got a snap right there. We're gonna deal with Wesker. Yeah, and the orange buster gets him on the same side. Builds up to the third meter. Damn, almost make it four. This character gets too much meter. <laughs> so <laughs> insane. Zero is a battery, literally, even though I'm conducting lightning at the same time. The Hunter hits on the dot. Fakes the cross up, the buster hits. And this is looking a little bit over for, uh, assuming this combo completes, this is an almost unclimbable hill here for Angel Bags. Yuli just running away with the, th with the third game. I mean, that's definitely the way to beat it in order right there. Take Wesker out, Doom, and then Trish is left alone. All right, throw is a huge opportunity, though. Spend that meter, it's gonna kill zero. Two touches, maybe three. User he error just right S. there. He just pushed S. I definitely don't think that low voltage was what he meant to get, and Yulis took absolute advantage. Goes straight in with the Helmbreaker. Spends the X-Factor just to make sure, just to be safe. So two to one. Going into game four. All right, we're gonna take a second. Take a second, get it, get back together, you know. All right, so we'll have to see what Angel Bag's adjustment is. Has not really been able to get, the one time he was able to get started and actually run the mix up. You know the one. The one. <laughs> <laughs> was able to secure the game off of a, off of a hard tag from Yuli. Oh uh, yeah, he just threw Virgil away and then... It's a, well, someone has to die for it. Yes. In that situation, someone dies a thousand percent. He just chose Virgil. All right, so Trish is getting set up, blocks the jam session, has an opportunity for rushdown. Raw tag. He really just declines to play the situation. Oh, got zero back in too. All right, still flanking around. Okay, still blocking. He's able to stay out of the lightning. I think Angel Bags probably had a, uh, he got a better thing together right here, or like what he wants to do. Oh, both traps hit. Not able to finish anything else off of it though. Orange Buster, no, it doesn't even need it. Stand medium is the play. So Angel Bags, probably gonna lose Trish off of this. Snap. Snap, okay. Same situation. Able to take down Wesker here. Still has X Factor intact. Everything's just it's coming up Yuli. <laughs> it's looking good. Like I was saying earlier, this looks like his side, man. He's not dropping from this side. I say that confidently right now, too. <laughs> I appreciate the confidence. All right, we'll see it. Dash is under, gets away from the jam session. Immediately, Supers wants to get Trish back in order. This is a significantly better order for his team, and he's got a much better fighting chance now. Having the beam to threaten helps a lot. Just dashed up into the lightning. That's really unfortunate for Angel Bags right there. Yeah, Trish not going to get it done. Oh, unfortunately, it does again. So Doom this time is going to be the anchor. I think Doom has a little bit better chance on the anchor slot uh, than Trish. 
just for having the foot dives. Foot dives and damage. Yeah. Hey, risks it all for the medium. Julie just lets go a green buster on reaction. And with jam session hitting, X Factor still available. No, he does drop. I mean, right here, Zero is, no matter what, one touch away from death. And if you can get Zeroed early, Dante could be two. Very, very true. He is going to spend meter, though. So I think spending meter makes this a little bit harder. He is going to gain a meter off of killing Zero. He can, kill can do it meterless from anywhere. It's just so hard to, man. Every time he approaches that orange buster, just... Yeah, it's just more just getting the opportunity. That's a good one. X Factor just to be a thousand percent safe, and I could not agree more. Really, with the red stuff on, six seconds left. Even if he puts the controller down, that's a wrap at this point. Angel, B Angel Bags with a great showing, but is going to go down three to one. Yuli is going to move on. Yeah, big shout outs to Angel Bags for getting this far in the bracket, making top.